It's time to talk about Smash Bros. What's going on guys, this is Mason the Delfino, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Switch that was announced just on March 8th at the Nintendo Direct. It was crazy, everybody's minds were blown, and I am super hyped. So let's talk about that. Now, we all know how the generations of Smash Bros. have evolved. It started out as Super Smash Bros. 64, and then it evolved to Super Smash Bros. Melee, then Super Smash Bros. Brawl, then the Wii U and 3DS sequels, and now we have a fifth one on the way, technically sixth if you count the 3DS as its own version, for the Switch. So that is insane, I'm super excited, and now I get to talk about it because I am excited for it. So I'm going to be telling you a few things that I think really would benefit this game, a few things I think would make it extravagant. Let's talk about a story mode, because Subspace Emissary was the one that technically booted the Brawl story mode into play. Um, that was basically, the idea was that, you know, people were getting turned into trophies. It was up to the player to save them. Now that's all fine and dandy, but the way they executed it was so great. Now honestly, I really liked the way that Melee's adventure mode was a little bit more, because it felt more atmospheric in the Smash Bros. universe. It didn't feel like its own thing. And while that wasn't technically a bad thing, I kind of enjoyed it, but I do think if they do have a story mode for this one uh, next time around on the Switch coming up, they really should implement voice acting, they should do kind of like a whole new universal idea. One that evolves all the series together, why are they all together, instead of just in the Smash Bros universe? Is there a reason? How do the Inklings come in? Do they find them in Delfino Plaza or something? Or Mahi Mahi Resort while Mario is... You know, you get what I mean? I want them to tie their worlds together somehow, which would be really cool, I think. And then they can kind of like meet, interact, and I don't know, I'm just throwing ideas out there. But if they had some kind of story mode, I think that would be really awesome. Next, I want to talk about the roster. I know over the years, the series has only had more and more characters added, which is also really cool. I'm glad that that's a thing. But now, listen to this. With the Smash Bros. Switch coming out, do you think they're going to have the same amount as the Wii U and 3DS roster, or even bigger? Or smaller I don't know but the thing is I want to ask that because there's so much variety in the roster for the Wii U and 3DS right now on Smash Bros 4 what if all those characters came back plus some now I know that's a lot to take in because there's already roughly 60 characters on the Wii U version but if they had more people would go crazy the inklings are already new and I'm super excited for those but the thing is there's got to be more there has to be I'm super excited for that but the roster is always everybody's kind of favorite part, I guess, of the game. It's Smash Bros. Everybody wants to have that one fighter they've been dreaming of for years, since the beginning. Me? Well, you'll hear about mine in due time. But the thing is, I want to talk about all of that. I want there to be an extravagant roster, even more options, maybe even a couple extra third party like Shovel Knight people really wanted, or Bomberman or something, I don't know. I just think it's really cool that they're even making this a thing. A roster with everybody's dream characters in it though would really top the cake. Next, I want the original modes back. I never played Super Smash Bros. 64, it's still my fault, it's still a problem. I gotta fix it, I know. But think about Smash Bros. Melee, because that was my first Smash Bros. game, and really, really drew me in. So the thing is, one thing I loved about that game were the modes. Yeah, you had Classic Mode and All-Star Mode. After all that, you have Break the Targets and Race to the Finish and the Classic Mode every few levels, you know. It was a very distinctive way to be like, oh, this is what this character is all about. For example, Break the Targets, every character had their own mode. Every character had their own environment to explore for these targets. They utilized their movesets and what they can do to reach these targets. And I thought that was a really cool aspect. Samus had a, like a robotic look to it. Donkey Kongs had girders. And it was just the way that they built them all for each character specifically. And it made it a really great time. Kind of made it unique to each character, if you will. So Break the Targets, Race to the Finish even, that was a really fun one. Running to the end and all that. Uh, getting as far as you possibly can by the time time runs out was always a challenge. I loved it. It was one of my favorite parts of that game. Uh, and then Master Hand, you know, that was the final of the that was the final part of the classic mode. We get that. But the thing is, I think a break the targets mode, a traditional one, not the one that Brawl introduced, where it was just the same layout for every character. I want the original break the targets from Super Smash Bros. Melee. <laughs> kind of ties in with the roster, but the thing is, I really would like fun ways to unlock the characters. Now, in Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS, all you had to do is really just play the classic mode a few times with each character or whatever. You could use the same one, I believe, and play X amount of times, and bam, you can unlock this character if you fight them and win, you know. Which I understand that, that's great. In Super Smash Bros. Melee, there was an unlockable to get Luigi in Adventure Mode. You had to finish, I think, it was a certain level with a 2 at the end of the time, or something like that. And that's how you unlock 
Luigi, I believe. I want it to be like, you have to go to a cheat code site to figure it out. Or like from Mewtwo and Melee, you had to play for 15 hours cooperatively in multiplayer. Or something like that. And so I would leave the GameCube on overnight while a match was going on. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things where I really would like some kind of challenge to it. Where I had to either work at it and accomplish it in due time. Or finally beat my past record and beat the record needed to get this character. Or something. I think that would be really fun. I like unlocking characters because they feel rewarding and it's a challenge to get them most of the time. But for Wii U and 3DS and Super Smash Bros. It felt a little too easy. So with that said, those are a few things that I think Super Smash Bros. Switch needs to be successful. Obviously, it's Smash Bros. It's going to be successful. But I think this would just top the cake, make it even better, even grander than it already would be. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think would make Super Smash Bros. Switch a great game down below in the comments. And I will talk to you next time.